In this video, I want to show you how to build a market basket analysis in Tableau. It's also known as an affinity analysis. Uh, basically, what it does is it tells you what people usually have in their basket alongside a product. In my case, I'm doing it by subcategory, but you could do it at the individual product level if you wanted to. So what I'm saying here is when people buy binders, so I have binders down here selected, um, they also buy paper 42% of the time pretty much. And then when I pivot this to a different value, when they buy art, they also buy binders 42.6% of the time. So this has huge applications for jacking up sales. Uh, you can train your clerks if you're a retail company to say, hey, when people buy binders, also tell them to buy paper supplies too, or just suggest that to them. Uh, also, it, it can help in a variety of different functional areas. Um, I believe that open to your judgment on how that would apply to your company. But anyway, let's look at how to create this. It's really fast. So let's say we want to do it again by like category. So I'll bring category up to rows. And then I also want to consider sales. So now I've got sales there. I want to create now a level of detail calculation. So I want to fix it at the category level and find my sum of sales. So this will not be affected by our filter. And this is going to be huge later when we start filtering stuff. So this will always stay the same. All right. Instead of keeping them as separate, I want to stack them. So I want to create a dual axis. I don't want those to be circles, I want them to be bars. And let me synchronize these axes real quick. And then let's sort category so it's descending by field sales. Okay, looks pretty clean so far. So now what we want to do is create a parameter on category. So create parameter category parameter. It just picks up all those values. Nice, a nice little time saver uh, from Tableau. And now we want to create a set on order ID. So order ID is the linking mechanism to match up what's in your market basket. So let's create a set on this. And we want to create a condition. So let me give this a name first. We'll say um, product purchase with product Z whatever. Uh, so by formula, so here's the formula you have to type in. Max, if and only if category equals my category parameter, then one, otherwise zero. And we want to find the max of this to see if ever that order ID has um, that exact same value, if it links up. And now let's just expose this, show parameter control. So there's my appliances. Let's take that set we just created put that on filters and now we can see there we go now we have our market basket analysis so pretty neat stuff here uh, what I would also suggest that you do is like in my previous example add some information to the tooltip to say to actually tell people what the percentages are okay because if you just left this tooltip the way it is it wouldn't be totally clear though the visual is pretty clear it indicates to people what they also buy